Well, we're doing a sunny evening. Do a little fishing. Need some people got a spot, but that's all right. Talked to some guys that drove two hours to get here. I think these lured by the picture of the musky. Talked to them a little bit. They were using minters and caught them a pretty nice bass, about almost 20 inches long. I use night crawlers mainly, as y'all know. And uh, I got me a, a, bait, a bait bucket and uh, a bubbler for some shine or something. Try some of them pretty soon. Well, I got me worm in the water. I'm in throwing out my. I guess that's an inline spinner. And I got a bite. That water's choppy. We got a little bit of wind up here today. These people fishing. You know. One guy walked up for me and he come back with worms. I hope I didn't get his spot. Because I'm not into being uncool fishing. That's just how I is. Well, we moved over to a spot to other people left like they always do. Right at the time they should be staying to fish, they'll leave from up here. But more fish for us, I guess. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show y'all how this they uh D shock casts and reels. It's quite a bit of wind up here today. I got that uh, inline spinner on there. I like it, it's every bit as good as that uh, ugly stick I got. It might be actually a little bit better. I'll give like 50 bucks for that combo. I don't spend a whole lot on equipment. I mean, it casts just as smooth. I got a little bit of line twist a minute ago, but that's from the wind. Well, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here and do a review on my fishing pole I went off YouTube. This pole is a Dewa Shark F7 OPM. It's a medium action, seven foot. It's cork handled, which I like. The best poles I think are cork handled. You can hold on to when your hands are slimy and wet. You can switch or retrieve to either side. And it's got the Shark 3000 B reel on it, which seems to be good cast I like the way the drag is on it. It's reversible here. It's I mean, that's a nice pole. I caught a bass on it the other day. And it was Peter. It's got real good action. You can tell. I mean, you can tell when the fish is nibbling or biting with it. It's a pole, especially today, like today. Water shopping. I'd recommend buying. I think I looked it up. They're about about thirty dollars for water in your It's worth the money. You see, it's got a fireplace tip right there, like the old stick. I wonder if this is a graphite rod or just fireplace. I did not see where it says, but it might actually be a graph. Know that you can tell my fish is fine, probably not with it. I'd recommend mine it. The cast real smooth. That's another bonus. I think I got uh, about 10 or 12 pound line on here, too. Which you can hit line 16, 6 to 14 pounds. Just here, I like using those kinds of line. Some people don't try to. One of the best ways to keep them loose fish. Yep, I would recommend this day with. I guess it's a D shot. A D shot. F702M rod with the D shot 3000B reel. I don't think you can beat it too much. I'm getting a bite finally. Probably a bluegill. He's uh, jibber jabbering and chewing on it. To catch one fish, it'll trigger the bite for the rest of them. It always does. Pert near. 
Man, look at the pollen and stuff in the water. This water's full of green algae. I'm getting a bite right there. Come on, buddy. Good old Papa Dave a fish. Have mercy on him. He's got to go back to work tomorrow. Back to the aggravation. And he's running right up under a rock. I think I caught me a fish. Eh. Look at that little bluegill. I mean, that red eye boy. It's a monster, son. Pretty. It'd be bait for something else. Hmm? A fish is a fish. You're right. You are correct, sir. You are correct. Red eyes are biting, but I had to go back to the car and get my flannel shirt. The wind's blowing cold, and thanks to them stupid blood pressure pills and blood thinners, I can't stand the cold no more. Cold used to never phase me. It'd be 20 degrees outside, and I'm sitting out there without a coat on. And now I freeze to death. That's the way it goes, though. The missus, the missus called her a bluegill slab. Look at there. Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. She couldn't let me skunk her with my one ounce red eye. Hee <laughs> I finally caught that vicious little bitty red eye. He's chased my bait all the way to the bank and everything. Look what a massive beast. He's pretty. He's warm. It ain't warm, that wind blowing outside the water, though. Let me tell you. He's a little BB. Got some teeth on him. <clears throat> Boy, he's pretty. How much is that? One ounce? Hee <laughs> hee. Makes him a second dink. Nice. Give him a release, help. There we go, back to fishing. Well, I'm gonna call it evening. Wind's cold, water's choppy, really nothing biting. But there's your view of the lower bed lake. I'll give you a slow panoramic view here. He's good fishing up every once in a while. Sometimes there ain't. Wind's blowing a little bit too hard. I'll catch you on the flip side.